Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my daily driving car which is a 2010 Honda CRV. We'll be just giving it a wash and vacuum today. But before I get started on the pre-rinse, take a quick moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on upcoming details. I was having issues with my equipment and in the process of getting new video equipment, I had some amazing details. I want to share the photos with you, including a detail that took nine and a half hours on a total disaster car that came out looking amazing. As we get started here on the pre-rent cycle for the car, take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my detailing photos.
these tires clean, I am using Chemical Guys Diablo Tire Cleaner to get all that dirt and road grime off the tire and wheels. I then use my stiff tire brush followed by my soft wheel brush for the outside of the rims along with my detailing brush to get all those hard to reach areas so the tire is nice and clean. Now time for my favorite part of washing the car and that's getting to pre-soak in my Chemical Guys Max Suds Foam Soap. I will then take my detailing brush around all the edges of the car along with the emblems and any other plate that place that my washing mitt can't clean 100%. After that I'll follow up with the two bucket method to ensure that all the dirt is removed from the car and limit the contamination on the vehicle.
for those not familiar with the two bucket method, I have two buckets when I'm washing the vehicle. One is my clean water with soap, and then my other one is just water that I use to rinse off the mitt after cleaning one to two panels of the vehicle. I'll clean it off in the bucket with a grit guard to ensure that all the dirt is trapped at the bottom of the bucket. After that, I rinse it off. I then take my wash mitt, get the soap from my clean bucket with another grit guard just to make sure any leftover dirt is removed from the wash mitt before putting it back on the car. Drop a comment below and let me know what music you guys like to listen to while washing your car. I like to go between 80s on 8 and lithium on Sirius XM whenever I'm detailing a car. And to dry it off, I have an extra large microfiber towel with 1200 GSM to get the car dry. I absolutely love this towel as I only need one to properly dry the entire car. Now moving on to the inside of the car, since this is my daily driving car and I just recently shampooed my seats and carpets, I'm just going to give my vehicle a good vacuum to get any dirt, crumbs off the ground and the seats along with any compartments in the car.
if you're liking this video drop me a comment below and let me know what your favorite part of watching a detailing video is my favorite part of detailing is a tie between getting the vehicle a foam bath and also shampooing and extracting the dirty seeds and just watching all that dirt get sucked out out of the car after you drop your comments below I will work on getting more of these type of videos up on the channel for you guys as soon as I can Now back to the outside of the car where I'm dressing the black plastic around my vehicle with Chemical Guys VRP. This will restore the natural shine to the faded plastic and as you can see it does not look like an 11 year old car. Now my second to last step will be to dress the tires then after those are done I'll move on to the final step which is clean my windows with my window cleaner and use a waffle weave towel to leave the windows with a streak free shine. And to make sure I have that streak free shine, as you can see, I spray the cleaner right into my towel. I'll wipe my window down, then flip the towel over and finish out the drying process to leave it with a streak free shine.
Thanks again for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future upcoming detailed videos.